Today we're going to make a coffee table out of a steel beam. I have a tendency to fall into certain creative patterns and keep using the same materials or techniques too often. Well, my friends over at Acura challenged me to get out of my workshop and actually explore new places and find new materials to work with. They hooked me up with this really awesome Acura MDX and the first thing I did was try to fill it up with a giant steel beam. This is a W12 by 53 beam, which means that it's 12 inches tall and weighs 53 pounds per foot. I got a five and a half foot long section that is 10 inches wide. It costs just about a dollar a pound. I drew out the design on the side of the table with some chalk. Now I know using a torch would be a faster way to cut through the steel, but I don't have one or the space to keep one. So instead I used abrasive cutting wheels on an angle grinder. I started off by grinding along the lines, but not going all the way through. I was really just trying to establish a groove and make sure that it looked the way I wanted it to. Periodically I would flip the table over so I could attack it from a different side. Luckily, both handles on my angle grinder are adjustable. This allowed me to really get into it at a lot of different angles. There was, however, one little part around the bottom of the curve that I couldn't reach with the angle grinder, so I just ripped it apart with my bare hands. My initial idea was to use these cutoff pieces to make a robotic shark costume, but leave your ideas in the comment section below. In total, I spent about two and a half hours cutting and grinding down this table, and I went through about 20 cutting blades. Now, they're not too much though. I got them for less than $2 each. For the middle piece, my sister Jessie recommended using the Sawzall with a metal cutting blade to get into the hard to reach spots, and this actually worked really well. Shout out to Jessie. Now that the profile was fully cut out, I used a flat disc on my angle grinder to smooth down all the cut edges as well as rounding over the corners of the table. Even though it's not the most efficient way to cut and shape steel, I really enjoyed this process. I just put on some heavy metal and let the sparks fly. I also liked that this was all done with an angle grinder that cost less than $45 from Home Depot. I finished off the grinding portion with my orbital sander. I put on some 120 grit pads and just used them to remove the last bits of mill scale and rust that was on the beam. The steel at this point is bare and very vulnerable to corrosion, so I quickly coated it with a coat of WD-40. After cutting out all the sections, the table now only weighs about 170 pounds and I was ready to move it inside and finish it. I know I had just sprayed WD-40 onto it, but that was really just to protect it until I got it into a climate controlled setting. I used mineral spirits to thoroughly clean all the steel. This stripped off the WD-40 and any additional little metal filings or grinding or grit from the sandpaper that was stuck to the steel. I then applied a coat of Minwax Paste Wax. I applied it on really thick, then waited 15 minutes, and then buffed it out. Spray on lacquer would be a more ideal way to seal the steel, but I didn't want to deal with the hassles of setting up a spray booth, and I really like that the paste wax is a little bit less toxic. Now I'm pretty new to steel work, so if you have any great tips for how to finish metal, let me know in the comments sections below, and any links to products too that you find particularly useful would be really helpful for me and for the rest of the community as well. The finish came out smooth and dry and there's no residual oil or grime on the steel. I stuck on some felt furniture pads on the underside of the table just to keep it from scuffing up the floors. I love this table and I'm really excited to figure out how to make some cool magnet attachments or even some sliding wood things that go on top of it. This table will serve as a creative anvil in the middle of my living room. I love that it's indestructible, that I can sketch on it, but also like hammer out a piece of copper or, or cut with an X-Acto knife and not worrying about going through. For more detailed instructions, check out my website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.